Hi, I'm Dr. Jack, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the stages of kidney disease, symptoms, foods to eat and avoid, tips for managing kidney disease, and how to prevent kidney disease. Kidney disease is a condition that affects the kidney's ability to filter waste products from the blood. It can be caused by a number of factors, including diabetes, high blood pressure, and autoimmune diseases. There are five stages of kidney disease, ranging from stage 1, which is the mildest form, to stage 5, which is the most severe form. Stage 1. In stage 1 kidney disease, the kidneys are still able to function normally. However, there is some damage to the kidneys that can be detected with blood tests or urine tests. For example, a person with stage 1 kidney disease may have a slightly elevated blood creatinine level or a small amount of protein in their urine. Stage 2. In stage 2 kidney disease, the kidneys are still able to function normally, but they are not as efficient as they used to be. This means that they may need to work harder to filter waste products from the blood. For example, a person with stage 2 kidney disease may have a slightly lower glomerular filtration rate, GFR, than normal. Stage 3. In stage 3 kidney disease, the kidneys are starting to fail. This means that they are not able to filter waste products from the blood as effectively as they used to. For example, a person with stage 3 kidney disease may have a GFR of 3059. Stage 4. In stage 4 kidney disease, the kidneys are severely damaged and are not able to function properly. This means that they may need to be replaced with a kidney transplant or with dialysis. For example, a person with stage 4 kidney disease may have a GFR of 1529. Stage 5. In stage 5 kidney disease, the kidneys have completely failed and need to be replaced with a kidney transplant or with dialysis. For example, a person with stage 5 kidney disease may have a GFR of less than 15. The symptoms of kidney disease can vary depending on the stage of the disease. In the early stages, there may be no symptoms at all. However, as the disease progresses, symptoms may include Stage 1 Slight elevation of blood creatinine level Small amount of protein in urine Stage 2 Decreased glomerular filtration rate, GFR Fatigue Shortness of breath Swelling in the feet and ankles Stage 3 Further decrease in GFR. More pronounced symptoms of fatigue, shortness of breath, and swelling. Foamy urine. Muscle cramps. Stage 4. Severe decrease in GFR. Frequent urination, especially at night. Nausea and vomiting. Trouble sleeping. Muscle weakness. Stage 5. Kidney failure. Need for dialysis or kidney transplant. It is important to note that these are just some of the symptoms that a person may experience with kidney disease. The symptoms may vary from person to person, and they may not always be present. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, be sure to talk to your doctor. Here are some additional symptoms that may be present in people with kidney disease. Anemia. This is a condition where the body does not have enough red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the body's tissues, so when there is not enough of them, people may feel tired and weak. Bone disease. Kidney disease can lead to bone disease because the kidneys are not able to remove waste products from the blood that are important for bone health. This can lead to bone pain, fractures, and osteoporosis. Heart disease. Kidney disease can increase the risk of heart disease because the kidneys are not able to remove excess fluid and salt from the body. This can lead to high blood pressure and other heart problems. Neurological problems. Kidney disease can damage the nerves, which can lead to problems with sensation, movement, and thinking. If you have any of these symptoms, it is important to see a doctor to get checked for kidney disease. Kidney disease is a serious condition, but it can be treated if it is caught early. There is no food that will heal the kidneys in each stage of kidney disease. However, 
there are foods that can help protect the kidneys and slow the progression of the disease. These foods include fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are low in potassium and phosphorus, which are important minerals to watch for if you have kidney disease. They are also a good source of vitamins and minerals that are important for overall health. Lean protein. Lean protein, such as fish, chicken, and beans, is a good source of protein without too much phosphorus. Whole grains. Whole grains, such as oats, brown rice, and quinoa, are a good source of fiber and nutrients. They are also a good source of magnesium, which is a mineral that is important for kidney health. Low-fat dairy products. Low-fat dairy products, such as milk, yogurt, and cheese, are a good source of calcium and protein. They are also a good source of phosphorus, so it is important to limit your intake if you have kidney disease. Water. Water is essential for overall health, and it is especially important for people with kidney disease. Water helps to flush toxins out of the body and keep the kidneys functioning properly. It is important to talk to your doctor about a specific diet plan that is right for you. They can help you create a plan that meets your individual needs and helps you manage your kidney disease. Here are some additional tips for eating a healthy diet with kidney disease. Cook with healthy oils. Healthy oils, such as olive oil and canola oil, are a good source of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. These fats are good for heart health and can help protect the kidneys. Limit salt. Salt can raise blood pressure, which can put stress on the kidneys. It is important to limit your intake of salt to no more than 2,300 mg per day. Avoid processed foods. Processed foods are often high in sodium, sugar, and unhealthy fats. It is best to avoid processed foods as much as possible. Eat regular meals. Eating regular meals helps to keep your blood sugar levels stable and can help to prevent kidney damage. Listen to your body. If you feel full, stop eating. It is important to not overeat, as this can put stress on the kidneys. By following these tips, you can help to protect your kidneys and slow the progression of kidney disease. And lastly, there are many things you can do to help prevent kidney disease, including Control your blood pressure. High blood pressure is a major risk factor for kidney disease. Keeping your blood pressure under control can help to protect your kidneys. Control your blood sugar. Diabetes is another major risk factor for kidney disease. Keeping your blood sugar under control can help to protect your kidneys. Get regular checkups. If you have any risk factors for kidney disease, it is important to get regular checkups with your doctor. This will allow your doctor to screen for kidney disease and catch it early, if it is present. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet can help to keep your kidneys healthy. This includes eating plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It is also important to limit your intake of salt, processed foods, and sugary drinks. Exercise regularly. Exercise can help to keep your blood pressure and blood sugar under control, which can help to protect your kidneys. Quit smoking. Smoking is a major risk factor for kidney disease. Quitting smoking can help to protect your kidneys. Maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese is a risk factor for kidney disease. Maintaining a healthy weight can help to protect your kidneys. If you want to protect your health and your family please check the book link in the description. This book is a unique guide for the layman that you can use when help is not on the way or to manage common ailments that don't require seeing a doctor. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on health and wellness. Thank you for watching.